Hey, I'm Kamel, and this is my Prosper English YouTube channel. I was just thinking to myself, would you enjoy yourselves watching a video on reflexive pronouns? Well, myself, yourselves, these are examples of reflexive pronouns. So how do we use them in English? When do we use them? What for? Just have a look. Hey, we've been talking about pronouns a lot recently. Today, we're going to discuss yet another group of pronouns, reflexive pronouns, which, in spite of being a distinct group of pronouns, are closely related to personal pronouns in objective case. So, what they have in common with personal pronouns in objective case is that they too are used only in objective case. But before we start talking about reflexive pronouns, let's recap on personal pronouns and objective case. Have a look at the following example. Hey, are you talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. In the question here, the subject is you, and the object is me. So, the subject and the object refer to two distinct entities, or persons in this case. In the answer, the subject is I, and the object is you. Again, the subject and the object are two different entities, two different people. But sometimes the subject and the object refer to the same entity. Have a look. So, who are you talking to? I'm talking to myself. Here, the subject and the object refer to the same person. I, myself, subject, object. This is where reflexive pronouns are used. Myself is an example of a reflexive pronoun. It's used in the first person singular. So, we use reflexive pronouns if the subject performs an action on themselves. There are separate forms of reflexive pronouns for each person. There are even distinct forms for the second person singular and plural, which isn't the case with any other types of pronouns, maybe except intensive pronouns, which I'm going to cover in one of my following videos. Anyway, singular forms of reflexive pronouns. Here are the forms in singular. First person, myself. Second person, yourself. Third person, masculine gender, himself. Third person feminine gender, herself. Third person neuter gender, itself. And here are some examples. What am I doing here? I'm just asking myself. Hey, girl, you're not enjoying yourself, right? The singer just hid himself behind a cloud of artificial smoke. Monica doesn't love anybody, she only loves herself. The microphone is broken, we must do something about it because it's not gonna repair itself. There's also a gender neutral form oneself, used if the subject is expressed by the indefinite pronoun one. How like, one shouldn't keep everything to oneself. This is why we share our music with you guys. One shouldn't keep everything to oneself. Now, here are the plural forms. First person, ourselves. Second person, yourselves. Third person, themselves. And again, some examples. It's allowed here. We can hear ourselves. You don't have to hear yourselves. What matters is that you can hear us, the singer says. Just wondering, this guy is wondering, can the singers hear themselves on the stage? Or do they only hear the crowd? Okay, that's it for this video. 
If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.